All right. Okay, so it is week three, day four of web fun. I am substituting for Spencer and I am getting ready for Python to meet you all. So um let's uh let's do our stand-up. I'm excited to see you guys' projects. This is like this is the funnest thing for me and for web fun. And I now just to get to uh sit on sit in on uh, Spencer's class to do this. So we'll go each each one of us, I'll call on us, uh show us your wireframe, show us your progress. And um, we're we're gonna do stand up just like you would have done with Spencer. All right, and uh, show me show me what you have. Show me what you got. All right, so let's go one on one. And then after the stand up, I want to do some pip installation with you. And then uh, after this, we're gonna uh, do that optional terminal game that you guys can either, if you're done with your projects, hang out and play, learn some terminal tricks or uh, we are going to um, you just work on your project. Or, or if you're done with that, then enjoy the rest of your day. If you don't want to come to the, term, uh, the optional tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna call on each one of us. Um, here we are, I'll start with Kisha first. All right, you guys, I'm up first. So, um, let me get on screen share. Yes. All right. So here is my wire. You guys are looking at that, right? Yes. Okay. So here is my wireframe. Um, it's really simple. Um, it wasn't what I wanted it to be, but I didn't really know what I was doing. I envision having on the nav bar, you'd be able to click um, on here and it would scroll down to each individual section. So here was, um, I didn't, here's my kind of my sections. Um, past that, I wanted to make it um, kind of interactive, um, more on the website. So here is uh, the portfolio as it stands now. Um, it's kind of simple looking. Um, it took me quite a while struggling with bootstrap. Um, you can click down and it'll scroll to each individual category. I'm still struggling with that and um, formatting. But past that, I was trying to add in um, just, uh, what is this, um, on hover, um, it would um, show degrees. And that's basically my standstill as of now. Past that, um, I've been working on my README. You want me to show my README, um, what it looks sure. like? Uh, I have a basic looking README. Oh no. So I was just trying to add in pictures to my README. Uh, this is uh, me first trying to add in my picture without even previewing it. So this is the new picture. So here's uh, my description um, in my README. First time I've seen it with a picture in here. Didn't know it was that big. And then um, basically here's my other parts of the README, which is, although mine is a portfolio, I don't have any installation. It's not applicable for me along with the usages and um, the only credit I had was myself. Okay. Unless, question um, question for you guys. guys. Did, did Spencer encourage you guys to, to create a README? Yes. Okay. He that did. was a sign yesterday. Oh, interesting. Well, it is important, but um, just a different way of doing things. But great. I like to see it. Okay. Very well done. Thank you, Kesha. Looking good. And you're going to work on that uh, bootstrap feature, right? Continue with that. I'm still working. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, you're in the right direction now. I'm glad to see it. Next up, we have Simon. Great. Okay. Um, so I don't know what to show. Um, well, I haven't seen anything, so I won't. True, true, true. Okay. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Here, let me share my screen. Um, here's the wireframe. Um, I kind of just try to get like a basic layout there that I could work from. Um, it's kind of just got like the the 
main starting page and then it scrolls down to like a skills thing and then um the rest of it is just uh like projects listed basically um i spent a lot of time today trying to get a javascript thing to work and i could not so it's pretty similar to where i was at yesterday um but we have uh like links to my github and my linkedin that those links um work so that's fun uh yeah Looks so there's good. this it's alien and then it scrolls down it's kind of like starts in space and i was trying to add stars too but that was pretty difficult to get uh stars like, why is that difficult like like i want to just like little speckles kind of throughout it but i'm not sure i might i'm not sure how to do that the best way to do that um yeah it scrolls down kind of like to be like coming down from space in the sky um i used um positioning for the clouds and the text because I couldn't figure out a way to get the text like inside the clouds without using um position um I got this same little alien dude then on a plane this is the part I was trying to use javascript on I would just all I wanted was the plane to like fly across the screen and then do it that. again like I'm sure you could do it I I know it's not like overly complicated, but just what like all the stuff I tried using, um, I couldn't get anything anything to happen. So, um, probably gonna need some assistance on that because, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just like can't seem to get it to. Get so it to go. in general, whenever you're running low on ideas on how to make things work, the my, uh, this is just advice for debugging in general. Get a notepad and get a pen and just start writing random ideas, you know, and and you'll get like a list of like five to 10 things you could do. And maybe like nine out of 10 don't work, but the 10th one does. But your notepad, just writing the ideas down, even when you're like maybe taking a break or having a lunch, just having it next to you, your brain will be like just debugging. Oh, I can figure it out. I, I just realized I can make it do this. So just uh word of advice but the stars okay i just wanted to say something before i forget with the stars what you can kind of make that work what i would do is because you have something so nice already and you don't want to break what you have just make a copy of this project just make a co just copy the folder and on that copy work by you know drawing all these crazy ideas to make some you know sparkle on the at the top of their page or something you know maybe it's an image that, that that's a gif that that sparkles or something instead of a black yeah that makes sense because i know i tried changing something else on here that was kind of big and it like really messed up a lot of other stuff and i just had to hit like the undo button a bunch of times uh on my code so uh but yeah that's a good idea yeah probably um, and then the bottom is just um project placeholders and then there's i think uh what i wanted to add i don't know if i'll have time um is like underground um, will be like kind of like an about me section after the project. So, and then I kind of wanted to do what um, Keisha was doing too. Yeah. Um, where like I could have up here somewhere like to click to jump to that part of the page. But, you, you, um, all you need is um, to make them a tags. Like you make it links, then the links will navigate to that. That would that should be easy. Just bug Kesha to figure that out. Um, uh. For 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 the sparkling things, you could also make it all through CSS. I mean, if you go on YouTube and look, it, uh, there's some artwork, like 3D artwork people do with CSS. Like, there's no limit to what CSS you can do with it. It's just that we use it to to build a website, and we just touch like the, the basics features. So you could make something like time in and out of flashing white and black you know, and, and put that across, or you can use a GIF. That's like a shortcut. There's, there's plenty of ways to do it. If you really want to make it happen, but that's the fun of it. No, so, so just keep pushing. All right. Thank All you. right. I have been getting messages from multiple people that you guys are shy to share. Um, I'm going to call everyone anyway. Okay. So just, you got to say why you can't share. You got to say it out loud because that's the nature of the job. When it, you know, when, when you're doing a stand up. And you don't have something ready. You just got to say it in front of everybody, right? So, um, you 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 can message the boss, but he'll just ignore your message like he did me, and just call you out in front of the group. So you just got to say, "Hey, I, I don't have anything to show right now. Everything's broken, and I have nothing." Or you can say, "Hey, I, I this is what I have still. I'm this is what I'm working on. I can't get past this point. Maybe I have a suggestion for you to help you work uh, through it." So, 
don't be ashamed or or bothered in that sense. This is this is this is your project. I mean, no one's grading you for it. No one's testing you on it. This is for your stuff. All right. Next up, we have Oreo. Nice. Okay. Yeah, Oreo, we can't hear you if you're uh, unmuted or not. There we are. So we're on your GitHub? Yeah, because I'm trying to go to the repo, look at the pages. Oh, I see. You're trying to make it go to GitHub Pages. Oh, there, there we are. Okay, there's your link. Oh, nice. You have it on GitHub Pages. Fantastic. This is the goal, everyone. We want to get to this place where we're able to just link a link to your portfolio uh, that's hosted on GitHub. So save this link, Uriel, on, on, on a page somewhere. I mean, on a notepad or something. Uh, but this is great. I mean, it look looks... Uh, so, so, um, since you have not seen my project yet, it is all about um, like to direct traffic. It is a different version of Yelp, as in Yelp uh, gives a restaurant a rating. Yelp gives a restaurant uh, feedback or constructive feedback from the community that they go to. Um, this idea actually came out from. Me and my company uh, while I live in South Carolina and not up local here, but my family that does live here, they are residents here. So one of the ideas I came up with was with this site called the Charleston Local. Um, it's basically someone who's been here through the education system. He just graduated college, uh, the College of Charleston. So it is pretty much aware of the surrounding area. Like, what's the cool spots to go to? Um, what really inspired this idea is there's nothing other than Yelp or in a few other rating sites that you can go to to see like a like a place that you're at. Um, if you're at a certain for like a certain age and you want to know what's the coolest like restaurants to go, or the coolest bars to go, you there's nowhere you can just Google that. It'll just give you generic information. So the purpose of this website is to get a more modern, more current view of the area that you're in, which is Charleston and give a guide. So every tab that would be, would be like categories that currently adding um, and have like, I don't know, have, have our own personal rating, but through our own experience on the places that we've gone to. So this website will help direct flow of traffic to, I guess, uh, prospecting businesses that are around here based on our recommendations, of course. So here I added a square. This is like uh, a hub, I guess, that all the college kids and everyone else would be going to. Um, yeah. This is like the cool area. You would start here. I would say out of all the places you could start of, this would be the coolest area. Everything around here, there's pretty much like everything that you need. So the point of the website as well, like I said, is just the direct traffic. Um, I guess the demographic would be more of the 16 to 40. Have, since Charleston is very unique in the age range of people that are here. Um, it is it is known as a college town or college city. So it's always a revolving door of users that would come to the state. And hopefully they'll go on the website and go on the night. Um, thing to add in, um, just, okay. You have a, a tab for the strip clubs. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate that, Oriel. Um, that's an interesting concept for a website. I haven't seen that done yet. So um, keep going. I uh, I wish my, maybe I'll be able to stop by tomorrow morning to see your final presentations. Uh, so uh, thank you. 
Yeah, I'd love to see how it, how, how you guys uh, make this work. All right, now next up, thank you, Oriel. We have Mickey. Yo, hold on. I am actually kind of in the middle of tweaking something, but no, we do have something to show. Um, let me drag it over here to the screen for you guys. So what I am working on is actually something called a World of Warcraft calculator. Oh. And what it's supposed to be is in the middle of a game, you know, you're always going to have to calculate something. And it's really distracting to the gameplay and kind of the immersion of the story and everything taking place to have to stop and find like your attack bonus. It's like, oh, I, I need you to roll an attack bonus. Well, even like our dungeon master, he's been doing it for years ago. Oh, it's this one, this one. And it's like, hi. and then you got to remember, oh, yeah, size modifier. So we've put it all together. So that way, if you actually input the data from your character sheet, you know, it's like five, five, and five. It's actually going to tell you what your mod, what your bonus is. So you would add that to whatever, like, your, your D20 is. In this case, that person would do very horrible, and they'd probably suffer a painful death. Um, and this one is of the for, big things with this. World of Warcraft? Yeah. Okay. Okay, continue. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. You're good. So it's like um, one of the big things with this is because a lot of people tend to like call in uh, to the Discord server through their phones, keeping it simple enough that when they're using it on their phone, they can easily navigate and not kill their phone battery was also something that had to be considered. So on the back end, how it works, there is still a lot of global stuff. So that way it's not having to actively call everything every <laughs> time and okay. have to constantly refresh the page. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's confession time, everyone. I have something funny to admit. I used to play lots of World of Warcraft in high school. I used to love it so much I ran home from school to play, but I could not understand how to use this. <laughs> this is complicated. And uh, <laughs> well done. I mean, I this looks like I, I don't even get it. And I played World of Warcraft. So Awesome. I mean, it looks like a legit calculator. Um, Thank you. So I'm sure one of your banes was actually like the, oh my God, I have a skill level of like 18, right? What's my modifier? There it is for you. So no, that wasn't my bane because I don't even understand that question. You're you're way above. You're like a, a tier above everybody else in, in what I ever played. But I, I was aware <laughs> of players like you. I just avoided them. Uh, great job, Nikki. <laughs> Um, next up, we have Jacob. Uh, here we are. Nice. See my screen? Yes. All right, so this is my wireframe. Uh, the idea for my project was to make a online record store. It's called Vinyl. And, and oh, the first nice. page is basically just a shop. It's gonna be where you buy all the uh, all the albums that are listed on the page. Um, all these like rectangles and stuff. That's just a a layout I made for myself to lay things out when I was styling. That is um, cool. This is just a checkout page. Yeah, I use Bootstrap for. Uh, Did you make this already? Example. Or huh? this is the wireframe. This is just the wireframe. Yeah, this is the wireframe. Okay. I already made everything. If you want to see, oh, you did. Right, but... Okay, let's see yeah. it, please. This, I mean, I'm, I'm getting ahead of you, but this is exciting. All right, this is the shop page. Oh wow! And it has all the albums, and you can click add to cart. It doesn't have any actual functionality, but it's but just you're nearly button. there. And and you know what? The next, the goal cool. for for us then will be so that. When you finish Python, you'll be able to make this work, and it will be on. It should be online. So, right. This will be so cool. I mean, this has been a goal of mine for a while, and I just see, seeing someone else do it is like encouraging. So I like to see that. Awesome. I mean, this is awesome. Uh, click through, please, and <laughs> keep clicking. Oh yeah, the last part of my project, I just did uh, just something to like. I don't know. I just wanted to like 
using API. So I just uh I use Last FM just to get like random albums from like different genres or just any genre. Yeah. And so, you know, you can go here, like pick any genre. So you can do like jazz and you can just randomize it. And you get a bunch of album covers and options. Oh, that's a scary. And I found that a lot thing. of good music from doing this and it's pretty cool. Oh, that's bad. And I saw them live once. Yeah, that's pretty much all everything I got done. Very cool. Uh well, nicely done. Yeah, I have nothing else to say. <laughs> Good job. Okay, thank you, Jacob. Let's get that like fully functioning next month. Uh, next up, we have Austin. You there, Austin? Yeah, um, I'm trying to get my file running right now, but it's a bit. My files got corrupted after I restored my OS, so I have been able to recover them. It's okay. Show me what you got. Remember, I don't know anything from where you started, so I have no room to judge. <laughs> That's the problem. I, I literally lost my whole project folder. Oh no! How so, can you get it back? I've been trying to recover it. I had them backed up, but my backup my hard drive wasn't fully working do you need to go to like a uh, computer specialist to like recover the data or can you figure it out yourself uh that's actually what i used to do so oh that's what i've been well, the process of doing all day and then you're the perfect person for your own problem okay but well, the the concept of my website was basically um my mom is a preschool teacher so she wanted a website to advertise her class you still have a wireframe no it was in the project folder it's from it was in figma but i had the file saved in um that pro in that folder okay sorry continue uh preschool so it was just a pre it was just a website promoting her class with a bunch of other stuff actually i have an open figma let me see yeah because if it's saved to an online wireframe repository you should be able to pick it up oh I did not even know I had access to that. Okay. Very cool. All right. So basically, it's just a very basic wireframe right now. Mm. With a few of the pages, the about, the class details. And that's basically what I had going until I been busy trying to recover my code okay so you had this pretty much to show until it broke basically all right well you have a wireframe so you can rebuild it and you just will be a better web developer after you <laughs> if you can't recover right so uh it's been a very it's been a very challenging week <laughs> <laughs> well the the cool thing is this is your own project, right? So you can always come back to this after you graduate from the dojo. Um, and uh, there's there's no test on this, right? So don't worry about if you if you did completely lose it, you're, you're still fine. You have your wireframe. You can rebuild it. So that... um, Oriel, my stuff backs up overnight and I lost that backup from the whole day prior. Hmm. So... Okay. Well, thank That's you, Austin. I appreciate you sharing. Uh, and I hope you get your stuff. Next up, we have Abby Sai. Oh, hello. Just just for some context, also, um, what I did. Yeah, I'll show you my wireframe. So my dad has a um, works as a mechanic in this trucking company. Um, and his owner, the owner of the company, it was that wanted to branch out and create a a mechanic shop for other truckers, so other truckers that are just like near the area or something, mm -hmm. um, to come by and just get their their brakes done or something, you know, some mechanical services, yeah, done. Yeah. So yeah, he just encouraged me to make a website for him for that specific shop, and so yeah, that's my my wireframe, uh. I made it as a uh like for like 
computers until Spencer helped me realize that. I mean, a lot of truckers aren't going to have a PC on there or a computer on their trucks. Right. So then I had to change up this format a little bit. And I'm, this thing's in my way. Hold on. Oh, there you go. So then I started looking at it um with the inspect. Oh, yeah. like this. Yeah. yeah. So then I had to, you know, reorganize it like that. And yeah, I just added these links for the Very for nice. the um schedule manually. He helped me create some Java so so I could use query select to be able to click on these. And I just did this little alert because I mean, yeah. And since they don't have a spot yet in the for the shop, I just put sent them to um Chick fil A. This is the world's biggest Chick fil A, I guess. Oh really? But, yeah, and then here it just breeze? this is their actual website, so you could apply. So so when the um say the customers are looking and they actually they need a job or something or they're they're tired of working for this that the same trucking company, they could just apply through here or press on this and then they'll take them to go apply. But I mean, yeah. What well, what's cool about your project, like what what's cool about Jacobs is that with next month's full stack, uh you'll be able to like actually make appointments scheduled and saved to a database so that like you're an admin user, like maybe whoever needs to see this schedules, you know, the dates that you, you can see that posted somewhere. Um so that that'd be nice to see how you can build upon this since it's something you guys uh you, you may need, right? So yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Well done, Andy said. Next we have Nian. Nian Wan. Hello. I'm gonna share my screen. So what I've been doing is primarily um two projects. The first one is build a website for my dad. So he's currently selling cars, used car on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. So I decided to build him a website, but it's not like complete yet. Yeah, this is just my wireframe. Mm -hmm. So basically, I want to show the inventory uh, he currently has and maybe some service. And in this box, I would put uh, uh, maybe contact information. So this is what I built right now. So yeah, I built a little... Like, I'm sorry, this is written in Chinese, <laughs> but it's basically yeah, introduced himself. And then later on, I will put the tag over here to directly link those ID to the page. Yeah. And this is the name and email input that maybe the customer can submit to like make a reservation for the test drive. Yeah. And uh, my second project is for my personal profile. So uh, this is my wireframe for my portfolio. So I write my name and this bar will uh, guide through the about me page, the education experience and the link, in, the link to the GitHub. So yeah, I kind of uh, write it down my ideas on, on a piece of paper <laughs> and yeah, and then start building things uh, from my wireframe. And this is what I have I have right now. So in I will put the the website for my dad in project one and later on maybe in in the future maybe the I will have project project in the stack web of uh, web development and maybe i don't know so <laughs> just put some project right now just for just for now and then about me page and my education page and right now i'm uh, working on the experience page here and yeah that's all i have very cool all right i like i like what i see uh, a lot of work so uh, put that fun and skill to work. Um, nicely done. 
we'll move on to Mixie. Thank you, Nian. Thank you. Hello. Um, give me just a moment to share my screen. Yeah. So this is my um, holiday greeting site. So because I'm in a holiday spirit, um, before we can get into that, um, here's my my wireframe, and this is like just bare bones, like rough draft, um, a holidays banner. The circles re represent the lights, and also I had the idea of putting a a random holiday joke. Mm -hmm. um, generator and then on the bottom here I wasn't sure what to do to take up the white space I thought about putting up snowman but it's been I've been I feel like I'm running out of time so I don't know if I'll be able to do that before the presentation tomorrow but I hope to put them in later but as I mentioned this is the holiday greeting site and um, of course as it says you can customize the greeting and you could change the amount of snow so you got that. Okay. You can, That's nice. <laughs> yeah. And you can um turn on the lights. <laughs> and I don't know if you can hear it, but you can also play some music. Um, no, you have to share your audio when you share your screen, but I okay, I believe there's music there. I okay. See. Okay. I'll have to remember to do that. Um and then lastly you have um a joke generator. Very cool. Yeah. I had not seen a website like this yet. So this is nice. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how to style it and I was looking for ideas and I was just like, I guess, you know, this hasn't been created before. So I hope to put this um create a GitHub pages and share it with um friends and family. Oh, okay. How can you change the snow? Can you put more snow? Yes. Here's more snow. <laughs> and he is even more snow so we got that's, a blizzard that's great <laughs> that's yeah. great okay fantastic yeah. thank you Mixie you're welcome next up we have Manjira Manjira are you doing all right do you have something to show us Um, so, uh, no, I do not have something to show. As okay. Well. Okay. Um, yeah. What's the plan for tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, hopefully I'll have something. Okay. Tomorrow. Um, I'm still shuffling my minds between different projects. So I just oh. don't know which okay. one I would finalize. So I just depends on how things go. So you really have so many project ideas that you can't figure out what what to get started on or finish in your in in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I pulled up the pictures for a project, uh, which is like the boutique. Um, yeah. one of my cousin is doing, uh, having the boutique. So just trying to make a website for that. Mm. Um. Um, and the other project is something like having a just a bakery kind of a thing. Okay. So, I mean, both is just like, both are checkout uh, kind of, a, you know, principle for the website. Um, so, if the boutique thing doesn't work, then I just will go with the bakery. So, okay. because that's a little bit too much of images. Uh, well, this images. is your own project. You can do it at your own pace. I mean, um, you know, my, my projects were never done on time in project week. I never had something to show. I was always showing with the cohort, like three... I was always that random guy showing with cohorts from like other uh, things. So your project is yours. So you can work on it on your own time whenever you feel like uh, in or out of the boot camp. So, um, you know, just figure out what you need to do. Thank you so much. All right, cool. 
Um, next up, we have Valerie. Um, so this is my, wait, can you guys see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is my wireframe. I did a portfolio. This would be like a little carousel that I had in mind for past projects. And then like a contact me submission form. And we're going to pretend this is me. <laughs> I don't have an actual headshot yet. Um, I did the thing like, was it Keisha where you click on it and it goes down to that part? Mm -hmm. I tried to use, I believe it's called like parallax effect where you scroll and the background stays yeah. fixed. Uh -huh. I feel like it made it look more seamless or something, but, um, yeah. So what like if happen? I were to click did on you, Did you use it? Did you use the parallax? I, I did. It actually makes a difference. I don't know how to explain it, but like when I turn it off, you can actually see a difference in scrolling. Okay. This the, the way I understand parallax to work is that it's like you have an image that you it sticks. It is sticks and as you scroll through mm -hmm. it, it stays in the background. Mm -hmm. and, okay, but you didn't use it that way. You use it just to scroll. And oh, it's for the whole background image. I yeah, see. for the background. Okay. Because it actually did look really different when I when I didn't use it. Okay. It just looked. I don't know how to explain it, but. And okay. then this would be um the projects, but I just use these as placeholders for now. Okay. And then let me scroll down. I just wanted to incorporate the GitHub API to use the stats. Just. To throw it in there and then I had my contact me and I still plan to add um, maybe like a connect with me and my github like a logo here that you could click on go to my github page and maybe like a LinkedIn go here mm -hmm. I still have to work on okay all That's right all I like what I see really clean website I like the the aesthetic too really cool Thank you. Uh, Johnny, you there? Yes, I am. Johnny, um, so, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Earlier today, I was in and I could hear you guys, but I was having issues and then I disconnected. Okay. Um, like over halfway through, but yeah. Um, pretty much for my project, I just started that because I got super sick. Um, like a couple of days, actually it was like a week ago and I just got better like a couple of days ago. Um, got meds and stuff so I just caught up with everything now I'm just like an hour ago I started my project I'm doing a profile page um, I had the wireframe a while back it was just written on a piece of paper um, so now I'm kind of incorporating just actually doing everything to try to have something to show tomorrow mm -hmm. um, or at least at least a basic web page or something to show tomorrow so yeah I'm kind of just rushing to get that done um i did the python installation and all that so very nice all right well um catch up as fast as you can uh yep. but it's your project like i said to uh Mangia. so um all right well nice to meet you again johnny yep, look nice forward to seeing you. you again yep. uh james hey is my mic working yes all right uh so I'll just do a quick look at it because, you know, my full presentation is tomorrow. Am I sharing my screen properly? Yes. So uh, my basic conceit going into this project is I wanted to make the outlining tool that I always wanted. So the user story is it's me. And, you know, what's my like business plan for it is I was going to give it to myself for free. Uh, and I have the basic features. Uh, I want the draw mode where I can draw on my thing. I mean, ideally it would be going over here and being able to mark up. It's not quite there yet. Uh, and this line feature, I think is a little opaque to people. So, you know, as far as a stand up, where am I today? What do I want to be tomorrow? Uh, to be honest, I have broken this enough times that I think I'm happy where this project is 
and I'm going to focus on creating my presentation because <laughs> I think this is a little opaque. Like, what's a swing? What's an admonition? Uh, it, because I, I made my perfect outline, so it's made very much for me. So I will try and make a – I will use this thing to make my presentation tomorrow to sort of demonstrate why I think this is a good idea. And hopefully I can also – because, you know, these classes here, there's seven classes basically. There's swings, there's admonitions, and then there's five different types of beats. Um <clears throat> What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the CSS and define a bunch more classes that won't go into the JavaScript at all, but I can still put them in the HTML to sort of demonstrate what someone else might like to do with this kind of uh, notebook page, you know, because not everyone is going to arrange their outlines uh, the way I do. And I guess that's the best way to put it is I made the perfect outliner for me as far as, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as writing. But I also think this is a great foundation for uh, planning writ large, outlining writ large, and even maybe presenting. And that's sort of where I am. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> so very cool. I haven't <coughs> seen a project where you can draw on the page yet. So I, I, I thought, is this a program? No, this is his. This is his website. So uh... I use a lot of tutorials. Like this, the CSS, this is basically straight. This is straight from a tutorial. Uh, and the canvas, there was like a direct tutorial about how to do it. So, you know, it's not like a, it's not like a from scratch type of thing. Oh, of course, no one knows anything to do anything like that, but you still figured it out. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you. Um, great job. Uh, next up and last but not least is uh, Mr. Hakim. Yeah, one mm -hmm. minute. So I'm still kind of working on it. Where uh let me share mine. My, my wireframe. This is where my wireframe comes in. And I was trying to do like the set time stuff that Spence uh Spence was talking about yesterday. Like I'm trying to work on the but that that takes me all day but i couldn't figure it but i'm sure i'm gonna figure it out tonight this so this is like an interesting a, wireframe i mean i i get you're seeing you're doing something new right like you're you're kind of like uh the nav bar is not a traditional nav bar but that's what you're aiming for right yeah but yeah. look at the way that how would you like you know how would you cut up this page that it just seems to me like you would have to do you mind if I mark no. up your page for a second? No, 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 I'm not. I just put like a divider there, but it's not going to be a divider. So yeah, yeah. That's what you see. No, it's just that your nav bar is like a, it's like, it's like a staircase, right? Uh, yeah. But where then, where, like, what I'm saying is, and uh, let me try to annotate here for a second. Uh, when when I think about how to make a nav bar. I think, okay, well, let me change the color. Sorry, let me get red uh, so you can see what I'm doing. One second, where is the color selector? Oh, here it is. So when I write a, a nav bar, I would think to like do just a straight rectangle across and then the body of the page, right? But since you have something unique, you're gonna have to rethink how you do this. Uh, so you're gonna yeah. think uh, like, uh, so I'm just looking at yours and, and it's a bit of a challenge, but I would think you would have to divide your page in a totally unique way. Uh, yeah. And for, so like, remember the, did you guys do the PA Mondrian artwork piece thing? Um, It was like, did, did Spencer go do that with you guys? Uh, Well, not to distract too much from what I'm showing you here, but this is a lot like that. The, that P, that artwork piece where you have to divide into s squares and rectangles because it seems like this is a rectangle right this is a thing in itself what what does this align with this aligns with everything here so this can be a rectangle and then you would need one just for this this middle section right here this about and work would belong to this middle column instead of a nav bar itself 
right? So you couldn't actually put that in a nav bar to make it. Because if you use position fix, it's going to be a, a more pain than it's worth. It, it's going to be a shortcut fix for a minute. And then you're going to realize everything else does not organize the way you would like it because this thing disrupts everything else, position fix. So that's why we we would like to to, to not use it. Uh, this here, you would need two rows, right? You need one row for this about and one row for this work. And then here you have three rows. One, one two, three. So your page is very uniquely divided and you would have to do something like this to do some experimental page work like this. But do you see what I'm saying? Like you can't yep. put the nav bar in its own section in order to get things in columns and rows, when it, whenever it, things are jagged like that, you have to do that exercise that you guys did with the, with that artwork, that French artwork piece where you're cutting up the squares where you think they might align. So yours is very much like that. Um, but anyways, I think, did you, did you find that you were running into that problem or did you, did you sort it out? Like the way I kind of cut it out? No, I'm kind of, the, the only issue I'm having is like this about, like about, and that, that's where I'm kind of having the issue with the rest. I'm not kind of having an issue with. Yeah. The rest looks, job. the rest looks achievable. It's that nav bar that would throw everything else off. And in order to achieve that nav bar, the way that you have it, I would imagine the only the only way I can imagine doing it would be the way I cut it up. You have to color it up in three columns, left side, the middle, which contains those two buttons, and then the right side, which contains three buttons. And the nav bar is not really actually a nav bar. It's just a collection of buttons in three columns that look like a nav bar. But in reality, it, your page is, it, I mean, it's kind of cool, right? It's different. But, but in, in order to make it work, you would have to do some creative uh slicing of dibs on your page um yeah. so yeah this is what it looks like oh okay it, yeah so that's that's all what i kind of have now for mm -hmm. like if, if that that's the wireframe i'm working on and mm -hmm. and this is what it looks like so when i click the uh, menu bar then everything kind of uh, comes down so oh, there that, he is. look at that okay yeah, that's where i'm having uh so that i'm trying to make them as you said like to make them a button so i could so so they could all like transition in like have one after each other so that's what i've been working on and trying to mm. get it to work well but well, yeah you got you have to really work some elbow grease in there because right now like I see how it looks on your wireframe. It looks really clean on your wireframe, but this looks a little messy. See, but you're you're almost there. I'm sure you'll figure it out. You just have to put some borders and some styling. So you'll be it. You'll be doing yep. it. So very nice. Uh, thank you, Hakeem. And thank you everyone for sharing. I appreciate you guys uh, being so gracious and, and showing me all that you have. So I'll again, um, see if I can stop by tomorrow morning if I'm not too busy. Um, to see your final presentation. So with that, I think we ended the hour. Uh, I realized as we were presenting something that let me just share my screen and then uh, we'll be we'll wrap this up. We don't need to do the PIP installation thing. It's just going to be too much work and information for what it's worth right now. Don't don't worry about that. We're still going to do that terminal game. I'm still going to make a room that you guys can come in and play this game. Uh, it'll be separate than my office. So I just kind of see that you guys are playing it and then I'll be in my office in case someone needs a question or something. But I'll, uh, we're going to play this fun game after this lecture. You don't have to come. But um, it'll be some good terminal practice, which will you you will need for Python. So uh, you don't need it, but it will be cool to have it. So uh, anyways, thank you guys again. You guys have been great. And uh, enjoy your holiday weekend break. I know I will. Um, so when we come back, if like everything goes according to plan, you guys may be my students for the next class. So again, it's been a pleasure being your uh, instructor for the day. And uh, I'll go ahead and post these recordings on the calendar as soon as I can get them up. So you guys can see if you need uh, to look over anything. All right.
And uh, great job today, guys. I'll stop the lecture, stop the recording, and uh, we'll break out the groups.